everybody to the off-grid basement. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little something uh, about testing the new 24 volt system. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to take this heater and I'm going to plug it into my off-grid system and I'm going to uh, first of all see if it will actually run and, uh, and second of all I want it to run for a certain amount of time. Okay, because right now what you can see is uh, at the DC power it's using 51 watts. Uh, and that is just uh, maintaining my batteries, um, items like that. About every, um, about every hour this uh, compact refrigerator turns on and that's where you can see you can see those peaks and it will peak up to about 160 watts. Um, and right now, I have 64% in my battery. Uh, with this test, I want to reduce it down to about 40%. So that's kind of going to be the longevity of this test. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this heater into my off-grid system. First, we're going to make sure that everything works. We're going to see if it monitors how much wattage we're going to use. I plan on setting this heater to only uh, medium, which should be right around 750 watts. Okay, so we're going to be plugging in this radiant heater, but the first thing I want to show you is that everything is plugged in to my off-grid system. So here is my off-grid system, and here's my inverter. What this is, is from my inverter, it's going to be plugged into down here into this surge protector and then this orange wire right here is where my outlet is plugged into so it's wrapped up here and it goes up up here up into there and then it goes across all the way across here and you see it go across there and then down, let's turn on this light, okay, yep, it goes down right there, move this, and as you can see, this outlet, this is the back of, a, of, a, of an outlet right there on the wall. Here's the outlet that's actually connected to my house, but here is my off-grid outlet, so. Okay, let's go around. All right, the two outlets I was just telling you about. This right here, this outlet is my, uh, my off-grid outlet. And then the outlet without the uh, cover is my regular house outlet. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I have switched cameras and I'm actually using my phone so I can record uh, myself and the uh, and what's going on in front of me at the same time. So let's try this out. And if it's if it stinks, then oh well, well whatever. But it's kind of neat. So let's try it. There we go. So that's medium right there. Okay. Oh, and here we go. And as you can see, we are using 860 watts of power right now. And that is right there, okay? Yeah, and we're discharging, as you can see, we started at 64%, we're down to 63. So kind of what I wanted to see is uh, how long it will take to get down to 40%, which is 23%. 23% uh, of my battery will be around 1,500 watt hours, is what I'm guessing. And this is a 750 watt. So this will probably take like two hours. So the best way I can see to do it is, uh, well, right down there, you can see the time. The time is 540. And so I'm gonna let this run for a while. Uh, well, actually, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this run for a while, but let's go check to see if any of the wires are heating up, if anything's heating up besides what's supposed to heat up. So let's go check it out. First of all, let's check out the outlet and the wire. 
and it's it's still cool to the touch oh it looks like the fans on my inverter turned on so it's heating up but it's uh it's doing good the, the air is not really that warm there's a little bit of warm air blowing out of here let's feel these the wires are nice and cool uh, yeah the fans just kick on for just a little bit and then they turn off the heater is it's getting warm but it's definitely not it's definitely not hot to the touch so so we'll see uh, yeah it's still using still using 850 watts so yeah it uses this heater uses about uh, it uses about 800 watts and what I should do you want to go ahead and kick it up let's kick it up to 1500 kick it up on high let's go ahead and do that and see what happens okay that's on high Oh yeah, 1560, 1550. Yeah, now it's using some juice. I have a feeling our inverter is gonna start, start kicking on a little bit. Still pretty cool to the touch, which is good. I mean, I'm guessing it'll probably take a few minutes for it to actually heat up, so. So let's give it a little bit of time. But it, 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 it clicked on to that 1500 watt high power with no problem. Yeah, we're using, we're using 1555 watts right now of, from off-grid solar. And it's already gone down to 61.9. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. There we go. And I don't feel, I don't feel any heat. I don't feel any heat on this wire at all. Yeah, it's blown up. It's blown out, but it's, it's definitely not hot. It's not. Wiring is still nice and cool. Yeah. It is getting a little warm around this circuit breaker right here. Cause that, that fuse is a 150 amp fuse, I believe. But we're still not, we're still not peaking at that. We're only doing 1500 watts, so. so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm liking this. I can, I know that I can, oh, and it just turned off again. Everything says everything's five. We're, we have 25.4 volts. Still pumping out 120 volts AC. This plug is a little, oh, this plug is a little warm right here. So, but let's go ahead and switch it back down. Let's switch it back down to uh, the medium setting because that's the one that I want to see how long they'll run for. So let's go ahead and there we go. All right, and now we're back down to 800, 850, 860 watts is what we're using right now. So yeah, my battery uh, is at 61. It is now 548. And so I'm gonna let this run until this gets down to 40%. And um, and we'll see how long it how long it lasted. Uh, if if the wires heat up at all while it's in this on this medium setting, I will make sure and let you know during the process. But if they don't heat up, I won't even bother. This uh, right here is my Echo B uh, thermostat, so it's actually keeping the thermostat in the house. That way, 
during the test, I can see if it actually gets warmer than 65 degrees uh, in this house. So, okay, well, I uh, will see you back um, either when something happens or when the test is over. All right, thank you so much. All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we are down to 48.7%, uh, still pulling uh, around 850 watts. And uh, I've been checking over everything and everything is staying cool, which is, which is great. The only thing that's getting warm is this heater. Uh, it's definitely radiating some heat. Uh, I can't keep my hand on it for very long. So it's, it's warm, uh, but it's definitely not warm enough to, you know, to heat up this entire basement. So, uh, so there's, there's that. <laughs> Because uh, I, I believe it's still 65 degrees in this in this basement. The last time I looked at my Echo B, it still says 65 degrees. Uh, but yeah, I mean, all my stuff is, all my connections, they're all nice and cool to the touch. There's no, there's no warm, you know, there's no warm spots on anything. The inverter is, I mean, it's nice and cool to the touch. The fan turns on every so often, uh, but it's pretty much blowing out cool air. You know, it's not, it's not really hot. Unless I put my hand real close to it, then it feels a little warm. But out here, it just feels like a fan. There's no heat, really. So yeah, that's good. That's just an update on, uh, on the connection. And hey, Vetter. And also, uh, yeah, we're down to, like I said, 48%. We are down to, yeah, 48.3% and the time is, uh, what is it, 6.53. So it's been, it's been a, a little over an hour and we've gone down about, what, 15%, something like that. So, um, uh, like I said, I want to get it down to 40% before I turn this test off. And uh, so at least we'll be able to see how long my system will, uh, you know, will run 800 watts, you know, which which is uh, this heater. You know, but it's looking like it's going to run it for you know a, maybe an hour, 40 minutes to an hour and 50 minutes, something like that. But like I said before, I mean the the test is great. I'm glad that the heater the heater works. Um, everything's staying cool, so I feel confident that if I want to run it, uh, you know, during the day with the sun with the sun blazing. Uh, you know, it won't be depleting the battery really much at all because I'll be I'll be pulling in, and you know, I'll be pulling in about 1,100 to 1,200 watts. So uh, I'll still be charging my battery and uh, and heating and heating a small room with this heater, all from solar. So yeah, this is a great little test to to see, you know, a, a little bit of what this system can do. So uh, I'll I'll get back to you when it's uh, when it's down to forty percent, and we'll see the time. Yeah, and you, as you can see on my chart, you can see like uh, the two pink ones on the right hand side. That's when I started the heater, and it really uh, it really pulled up the the kilowatts of what I'm using for my system. That's what that chart shows down there. Usually, uh, you know, all the rest of the stuff that's just well, my internet's plugged in, just maintaining my little Ryobi batteries, you know, and, and then also this, uh, this refrigerator. This refrigerator is still plugged in too, so it's still, it's still being powered by solar also. So this refrigerator is being powered by solar, you know, and this heater is being powered by solar right now. And this refrigerator, when it kicks on, it jumps it up to about 960 watts being used. So... Uh, okay, well, I'll I'll uh, I'll get back to you when it's down to forty percent, and we'll see what our numbers are. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, uh, we are at forty point nine percent, and we're still running at eight hundred fifty five watts. Uh, the time is seven thirty three. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and check all the wires one more time. I'm sure that they're gonna be fine. Um, I checked the Echo B. Uh, it's still 65 degrees in this basement, so uh, this this heater isn't really a uh, 
a really good source running at medium to, to heat a basement. Um, but I think if need be, uh, you know, if, if we were stuck without power, I would much rather have this than nothing at all. So, so yeah, I definitely can't complain about it. All right. Yeah, the inverter. Inverter is nice and cool. These, these wires, these wires are nice and cool. Yeah, everything. Fans kick, fans kick on every now and again. They've been doing that this whole, this whole time, this whole test. But like, again, the, the air is, it's, it's a little warm when I put my hand right up to it, but it's nothing to be concerned about at all. But every other wire on this system is, is cool to the touch. So it can definitely handle, the system itself can handle uh, having that heater on with, with no problem. Um, yeah, I wish I had a thermal, yeah, because this, this is hot. I mean, I would not want to keep my hand on here. Uh, but again, you know, this, this, base, this basement, it's definitely not, you know, it's not going to raise up the temperature uh, of this basement. So, all right, well, yeah, we're at 40, 40.4%. Again, it's 735. I'm going to call it quits. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Please uh, leave a comment. If you like the video, please leave a like. It really helps, uh, you know, promote these videos to other people that want to watch it. So again, thank you so much for watching and you all take care. Bye-bye.